It's a race to stop a deadly virus from spreading. Passengers touching down in the U.S. on flights from central China now face a medical check. Health officials at airports in New York, Los Angeles and San Francisco are testing travelers coming from the region who may have symptoms of the virus. Most passengers will get questioned, get their temperature taken and be sent on their way. But passengers that are potentially at risk to have the novel coronavirus, that is people who are sick and have been exposed, they're going to get additional questions and they may actually be sent for a medical workup. Our goal here is to detect this virus early so that we can better understand it. At San Francisco International Airport, passengers support the new checks. It's necessary to go through the screen to check the temperature, to make sure we're OK, we don't have fever. If it's uh, issues that are going to affect others, it's maybe good choices to like, be cautious about it. But the prospect of being exposed to the mystery illness is not deterring all travelers to China. Who knows, right? I, I, I'm gonna, I might get a flu there, <laughs> but I'm going to be careful. The new coronavirus first appeared in the city of Wuhan in central China. Medical workers spotted a cluster of cases of a new type of pneumonia. Patients had fever, coughs and breathing problems. So far, only people who visited or lived in Wuhan developed the virus. But as people travel overseas during the Chinese New Year holidays, more cases have been detected. Using a thermal camera to check for sick passengers. Other countries have started testing visitors. Officials screening travelers landing in Bangkok, Thailand, found two of the most recent confirmed cases outside China. A 61-year-old woman and a Chinese tourist are now in hospital. Medical researchers don't know if the virus can be passed from person to person, but with millions of travelers crossing countries daily, health authorities are taking no chances. Let's cross now to Shanghai and speak with journalist Simon Le Platre. He's been following the story from there. Hi, Simon. This new coronavirus strain is being likened to the deadly SARS virus. How serious is this exactly? So um, Chinese scientists have analyzed the DNA of this virus, and it seems to be 80% uh, similar to the SARS virus in the same family, but it's slightly different. And so far, um, it seems to be slightly less dangerous, slightly less deadly, and also a bit less virulent. So it spread less fast, which is rather reassuring. But still, two people have died. Um, apparently, they were older people. Uh, there are also been, um, so 40 people have been hospitalized and 10 already went out and are safe. So, so far, that's all we know. Important also, it doesn't seem to spread or doesn't seem to spread easily from human to human. Right. Simon, scientists believe that the number of infections reported in China are actually much greater than officials there have been saying. Do we know really the exact scale of the problem? No, and that's really difficult to evaluate. Actually, scientists have done what many Chinese people were thinking about. How comes um, there's only 40 cases in China, but there are already been some cases reported in Japan and in Thailand and some in Hong Kong, but no, not in any other province of China. So Chinese people were asking this question online, and these scientists have actually just analyzed the number of passengers in Wuhan airport and just made some evaluates, and they thought that it could be at least um, 1,700 people infected, but we don't know really at this stage. Officially, wow. it's still 41 as many as 1,700. What exactly are Chinese authorities doing about this? What sorts of detection and precautionary measures are they doing? So that's why, um, so far, the scientific community seem to believe that China is doing much better than during the SARS epidemic in 2002, where they basically um, heat up everything uh, and they were strongly criticized for that so so far first communication with the world health organization is much better and locally they have tested they say they tested 700 people uh, both um, medical staff 
and relatives of the people who were contaminated, and they discovered no case, which is why so far they say that there should be no transmission from human to human. Mm -hmm. But there's one case apparently of a lady who was infected uh, and she didn't go to this market from which apparently the epidemic started. So that's why there's a suspicion that it could be transmitted, but it's not confirmed yet. Okay, journalist Simon Le Plattre in Shanghai, thank you very much for your time.